right, queens and kings. Queens and Kings. So starting off with the very first DIY that we're going to be doing. Most of the items are from the Dollar Tree. The only items that isn't from the Dollar Tree is these gorgeous little napkin rings that I got from Totally Dazzle, which I will leave a link down below because I am affiliated with them. So that means I will get a little partial small percentage if you purchase something from them. And I also have my hot glue gun as well as glue sticks. So now let me tell you about the rest of the items, which all Dollar Tree items, like I said, I have six different styles of candles holders here. Um, two of the medium uh, cylinder jars as well as a large one. And then I have three different sizes of these tea lights candle holders here. Now these are some scraps here that I have from previous DIYs that I have done. I'm going to use these as risers to rise these up just a little bit more taller. Now Dollar Tree does have a higher um, taller candle holder. But the candle holder come like very close to the rim, but I don't want it as that high. So therefore, I'm just going to give use these to give me that illusion of height up on the bottom of this one. Okay, so now that I have took my napkin rings out of the cases, out of the plastic, basically I'm going to glue these down around the candle holders. So I'm going to start from the bottom and work my way up. I mean, a down, should, should I say? I'm going to start from here. Okay, now so I'm going to take my tea light candle holders and I'm going to glue those down to the bottom. I'm going to use some of this uh, fix all adhesive because I do want this to secure um, a strong hole. But I'm also going to use Dollar Tree, not Dollar Tree, but the hot glue as well. But I'm going to spray this on very thin as possible because I want it to look seamless. next one here this DIY was um, inspired by Z gallery they had like these little shot glasses that have the bling and everything on them going around them. Um, these are actually dessert glasses here 
but they will do the trick and three of them come in a pack these come from the dollar tree as well and i'm using this little rhinestone wrap that i got from amazon you guys have seen this before where i had done plenty of the dupes with these items here uh, which i will link those above in the i cards now i also wanted to use the dollar tree fix all adhesive Take my scissors and just cut in between the glam like that. Okay, Queens and Kings. So this one here is very simple, like the simplest one of them all. Now I have these bags of gems that I purchased from Amazon, but Dollar Tree does sell the gems, but you have to catch them um, when they do have them or whatever. So I will link it down below so you guys can actually find these here in the bag, um, the ones that I did purchase. But this one here, I'm using some ballpoint pens and some gems and some floor um, picks right here. Now, these I have for my wedding, so I said, you know, let me just use them. So... Z Gallery has some stir sticks that I could not find anymore. And I was like, you know, they're just going to be on my um, bar for decoration. So why not just make some? So this is the idea that I came across to make some using some pens. Now all you're going to do is take your hot glue or your fix all adhesive. But in this case, I'm just going to use hot glue. Now I'm just going to place some hot glue up here to the top rim of this. And I'm just going to take a gem and I'm going to stick it in there. And then I'm going to place some hot glue down to the bottom here. Same way, but this one here has the little pin on it. I could take it off, but why should I? I'm just going to stick it right in there. And now I have me some cute little glamour stir sticks. more for decoration than actually use but you can still use them if you just don't put the pen put the diamond down to the end because you don't want nobody to be drinking then they swallow this or whatever but as for decoration purpose you know something cute to go on top of your um bar cart or something like that those would be real cute that's, and i think that's a very good idea
for the fourth DIY here. This is more like a um, home goods inspiration or inspired. So, but on a very smaller size. Now, Dollar Tree have these vases in here. And when I first seen this, I thought of like a, a pocket carry jar, <laughs> if I'm pronouncing that right. So I have this jar. Then I have the bling again, once again from Amazon. I will link it down below. Then I have an old knob. And then I have an old um, top from a decanter store. Uh, I think it was a counter holder or so. And then I have this totally dazzling um, bling rhinestone buckle. Dollar Tree fix all adhesives as well as adhesive as well as my wire cutters. And my hot glue gun. So first thing first what I'm going to do is basically do my knob. So cleaned it all up the best that I could. I'm going to take this brooch out. Well, I really don't need to cut it. I don't think so. I really don't need to cut it. And we're basically going to glue that on it like this. So I don't need to cut it. I'm going to take some fix all adhesive. Place some of that on there on each side. And then I'm going to place some hot glue so this can stay in place. I'm going to place that down in the middle. Sorry if you guys can't see what I'm doing. Okay. Do I have that center? Don't look like it. Okay. Can't do nothing with these nails. Now, any glue that you see left over on any of the residues or so like that, you can use alcohol or vinegar, white vinegar, to clean it off, to get rid of it or anything like that. So, I think that's in the center now. Now, I'm going to take my adhesive, place it on the bottom of my knob. Now, I'm going to let this sit to the side. I'm not going to place any hot glue on this. Let this sit directly on there like that. I'm going to place that to the side. Now once again the same method that we use for the um the <laughs> shot glasses our shot glass or our dessert glasses turn into shot glass. I'm going to place this down here. Uh, so just going to place some glue. I'm going to place a large amount on this one here. Okay, Queens and Kings, so for the very last DIY, what we're going to do, we are doing some flutes, stemless flutes, which these are inspired from Z Gallery, and I found these little um, faux champagne glasses that I purchased from Dollar Tree, 
And I'm, once again, I'm going to use my little rhinestone wrap. I have a lot of you guys actually question me about this little knife here, which it is actually a wood burner. It's not a knife. I use this one mostly because they have the flat end because I was trying to make whatever I cut be very flat as possible. What I'm going to do is basically cut the bases off of these champagne glasses. I'm going to cut it is basically right here where the base and the stem meets. Z Gallery flutes have the bling going all the way around to the bottom. I'm not going to bling this all the way out because it actually got this little swerve look. I mean, this design. I mean, it actually has this design or pattern like this around it. It's just not going around in the circle. So it's a little bit difficult to try to keep the bling to going up there. Maybe if you start from the bottom, you can wrap it all the way up and go up until you get to this nush or uh, this little area here where the glass and the stem basically meet itself. You probably can wrap it around like that but since i don't have too much bling left um what i'm going to do is basically start here and i'm going to use the hot glue instead of the fix all the adhesive i'm going to place a small amount here and then i'm just going to place my bling down and wrap Now what's going to keep my bling in place is because, like I said, this little groove here where the glass and the stem meet, it have this little section where it prevented from sliding. So basically I'm just going to follow that and I'm going to wrap around like probably about three times. Okay, queens and kings, so we have made it to the end, and I have to say I love the way that these look. As you guys can see, I do have them paired off with some more dupes as my coasters that I did once before, and I will leave that video in the iCards. But I hope you queens and kings enjoyed these five simple and affordable dupes from Home Goods Pier 1 as well as Z Gallery. If you all enjoyed the video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and Turn on your post notification bell so therefore you'll be notified each and every time. And your queens and kings continue to be royal.